Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today I'm going to do a quick comparison video between the 501 SS, I think it's the Advanced or Pro Mode, whichever one comes with that controller, and the Femi A3. So the reason for doing this, both of these are 5.8 GHz FPV drones that record, both of them in 1080p, both of them have a screen inbuilt, and at the minute there's about £45 in difference. This is £45 cheaper than this. So it's not going to be a totally fair comparison because this hasn't got a, a gimbal. This has just got a fixed camera and this obviously has a gimbal. But I'll show you the differences on the two. And before we go any further, I'm not slating something because I really do like this drone. I've just flown it again now, this morning, and I really do love flying it. It flies really nice. So let's do the main comparisons. We're about the same size in build. If you look, you can see they're about the same size. Similar form factor. Weight wise we're about the same, this is slightly heavier but of course this one just has the 1080p fixed camera and this has a two axis and the third axis is electronic image stabilisation. Motor size, this one's got much bigger motors on but this one runs on a 2S battery, this one's on a 3S. The controllers, I like this controller so I can't pretend I don't. So if you see this controller, I've just put my hand over the GPS so if you look at this controller, you can see the image quality there on your screen. Let me pick the Femi up. Get the Femi in my hand. You can see the Femi have the better screen. The Femi has a much larger screen as well. But no sun, no sun shade, so difficult in the sun. But I, fly this, I flew this again with goggles, so to me it's not an issue. But you can see... I think the clarity is better on that one than it is on this one. This one also has more features, more flight modes than this because this only has circle me and follow me mode whereas this one has come out of that. this one has more settings. You have fixed MIG mode and stuff on this one where it doesn't on that one. So like I said, the comparison on the cameras probably isn't fair, but at the end of this video I'm going to put some video footage up because they're both camera drones and because of the fact there's only £45 in difference, it would be unfair to do so. This because it's got this because it hasn't got a 3-axis gimbal. 2-axis gimbal, sorry. It doesn't really make a difference when you're paying that kind of money. So the controller on this, I like the feel of it, the gimbals feel nice. It feels more like your typical hobby grade transmitter. Switches on the top if you look. And it's very much traditional looking apart from the shape of it. You have your antenna on the top for your 5.8 gigahertz and for your 2.4 gig. This has them built into these things, into these antennas. These gimbals are obviously a lot smaller and more toy grade ish but they don't feel toy grade to use but more in the style of DJI have moved on to with their smaller controllers speed wise this one's quicker but the main thing for me is flight so this thing does not fly bad at all do not get me wrong but it has your typical bouncing GPS so if you let off your stake it'll do take a bit to recover and it bounces into position this one doesn't do it anywhere nearly as bad. This one flies better than that one. That's and no doubt whatsoever. But this is what two or three year old now, and this has just come out. So you can understand it's going to fly better. The thing for me is, it's the price. Surely now Hudson need to look at this and reduce the price of this. You can buy this cheaper if you buy it with a the other remote control with the screen, but and it's a plastic. It's horrible. I, I had one before. I hated it, I didn't like the controller at all, where they'd like this controller. But to buy this, you're still looking at £180, £190, and that's if you buy it from, if you buy it in the UK, I think it's 200 and something. Whereas you can pick it up for 235 230 if you can get a deal, probably a bit less if you shop around and you're not bothered about the wait time. So for me, Hubson, if they want to keep making this model, they need to reduce the price of it. It's as simple as that. They can't keep continuing at that price point with that model because it's just not worth it anymore. So I have, sorry about the delay, I have got this to review. So I bought this the other week, haven't even taken it out of its box. 
which is the X4 Air Pro, which is probably the same type of drill but different controller and obviously this one use there's Wi-Fi and this one has the far more things you can do with it. So we'll be reviewing this soon to see how good that is against it. But I bought this on a flash sale for £145 but I think you can pay up to 200 quid for this. So again, it's expensive compared to the Femi. You know I love the Femi because of the video I did before. Every time I fly it, it puts a smile on my face. Flying it with goggles is fantastic. I'll have a video that I film entirely with the goggles coming up shortly. But if you fly it with goggles, it's fantastic. So, I'll leave you with some flight footage so you can see the difference. It's massive. I'm not going to pretend to there isn't much of a difference. It's huge. But, bearing in mind this doesn't have a gimbal. But forget the gimbal, but look at the quality of the camera. Forget the gimbal and just have a look at the quality of the camera. Forget the vibration shakes and all the rest of it. You'll see there's a huge difference. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.